Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Attar, the president and founder of Kim C and Appealing Products in Raleigh, North Carolina. I want to thank you very much for giving me the honor of uh, presenting um, our last discovery uh, to you. Uh, the topic that I'm going to talk about today is the fact that the amounts of heavy metals in our drinking water and food have increased significantly due to increased mining and industri industri industrialization. Uh, heavy metals include lead, mercury, cadmium, thallium, barium, and many others. Those are essential metals which are used in many of the products that we use. However, when they are incorporated in food and water, they have deleterious effect on our health. They change the certain enzymatic processes in the body and they are incorporated in the bones, uh, in the liver and in uh, other organs. They affect the nervous system. Recently, we seen a case where uh, the legacy of it will remain with us for a very long time. That is the added lead to the drinking water of Flint, Michigan. The children that uh, have consumed this water will suffer for many years to come from learning deficiencies and from attention deficit disorder. This uh, fact will uh, should teach us a lesson and should should prompt us to be proactive in the fight against having heavy metals in our food and water in a in a global sense heavy metals affect different ages of people in different ways the reason is that the heavy metals accumulate in the body and the cumulative effect can cause um, deterioration in the cognitive function of people. All of us are growing older. All of us are, want to maintain our ability to understand information, retain it, and act based on the information so that we will have informed decision and enjoy the interactions with other people. If heavy metals are incorporated in our brain, then our ability to maintain these functions deteriorate. The medical profession def de defines, uh, uh, defines death as cessation of the heartbeat and, and or brain waves. I define death as our ability or inability to continue to interact with people, to receive information, understand it and act on it. The subject of my presentation are new class of detectors that KMC and Appealing Product developed, which are a paradigm change uh, in the sense that they allow a person with minimal education and training to determine in a very short period of time if the water or food that he is consuming contain excess heavy metals. Um, the, in this way, a person can, before consuming the water, can make an informed decision whether this water are fit for consumption or not. And this is a very important matter because had it been had it been available to the people in uh, Flint, Michigan, they could have averted the many months of exposure of them and their children to high concentration of heavy metals in their water. The device that I will be showing uh, was developed for the Department of Defense and we modified and simplified it for use by other people so that it will be available to the public. Can you imagine if we have a device, no matter where we are, and we can immediately determine if the water contain excess heavy metals or not? Then no matter where we are, what water system we are using, we can protect 
our ability to maintain our cognitive functions. Um, uh, I, that is basically some of the things that I wanted to say and I want to thank you again for your attention.